Hi there and welcome to part two on my video concerning standard form. So it is part two and we're going to look at multiplying, dividing, adding and subtracting briefly. I am therefore assuming that either you've seen my first video or you are already familiar. <laughs> So now that we have some understanding of how standard form works and how we use it, I do think the simplest way to demonstrate how we multiply, divide, etc. using standard form is to simply look at some examples. And on the screen here we have a typical example of the multiplication of two figures that have been given in standard form. So we have 7 times 10 to the power 4 and we are multiplying that by 6 times 10 to the power 3. Now, if you are already familiar with multiplying and dividing powers, you will recognize one of the methods that we use here. Quite simply, we are going to collect the numbers together, the 7 and the 6, and we multiply those, and then we're going to look at the powers, and we're going to multiply those together. In other words, we are going to do the 7 times the 6 as one calculation and then we're going to do 10 to the power 4 multiplied by 10 to the power 3 which will give us our answer 7 times 6 is 42 now as I said before if you are familiar with how we multiply powers the answer is to multiply 10 to the 4 times 10 to the 3 the process is to simply add the two powers together. So the answer we get, 4 plus 3 is 10 to the power 7. And that's it. We multiply the two numbers together in the normal way, and then we use the rules for multiplying powers in that we add the two powers together, 10 to the 4, 10 to the 3, add it together, is 10 to the 7, and that's your answer. However, you will notice that at the moment this is not in standard form. Don't forget standard form, the number in front here has to be between 1 and 10. So in order to do that we're going to have to divide it by 10 which turns it into 4.2. Now because we have done that we increase the power by 1 so it becomes 10 to the power 8. A little bit tricky one to remember we need to divide the front number by 10 so we are multiplying the second part and we do that by increasing the power so in this example we have 3 times 10 to the power 6 and we're dividing it by 6 times 10 so we have 3 divided by 6 and then we have 10 to the power 6 and we are dividing by 10 to the power 14. So 3 divided by 6, well 3 divided by 6 is 0 0.5 and 10 to the 6 divided by 10 to the 14, well again follow the rules when we are dividing we subtract the powers so we get 10 to the minus 8. Once again at this point you'll see that the number is not in standard form it's not 0.5. Again, it has to be between 1 and 10. So this time we need to multiply by 10. So to multiply by 10, it becomes 5 point nothing, which means we have to change the power of 10. And that means we divide this part by 10. So it becomes 10 to the power minus 9. Again, fiddly bit, but remember, if we are multiplying the first half by 10, we have to divide the second half by 10 to keep things equal. Moving on to adding and subtracting. Well, if anything, this is actually more simple because adding and subtracting is only possible if the powers of 10 are the same. So here we have 10 to the power 4 and 10 to the power 4. If they are different numbers, you cannot add them together. Once you've made sure of this, the process is easy. All you have to do is add the numbers. 
3.5 plus 4.2 is 7.7. So the answer is quite simply 7.7 .7 times 10 to the power 4. You are adding two sets of numbers that are of the same power. In my example here, the answer is in standard form, so I can leave it as it is. If you happen to have an answer that is over 10, you may have to change it back into standard form, as we saw in the examples earlier when we were multiplying. Subtraction, of course, is just the same. Again, make sure the powers are the same and then subtract the two front numbers. Let's finish by summarising the rules then. When you are multiplying and dividing, multiply or divide the front numbers together in the normal way. Secondly, you multiply or divide the powers of 10 by using the power rules. You add or subtract the powers. And finally, if your answer is not already in standard form, then adjust it. Don't forget, if you have to divide the front number, you have to increase the power and vice versa. When you're adding and subtracting, first of all, you need to make sure the powers are the same. Otherwise, you cannot continue adding in this way. Secondly, you add or subtract the front numbers in the normal way and make sure the power of 10 remains the same. And rule three is the same. If your answer is not in standard form, then you will need to adjust it to make sure that it is. And that covers standard form. As always, I hope you found that useful. If you did, please do subscribe to my channel. And if you hit the notifications, you'll find out about any new videos that I release. Hopefully, I will see you again. Thank you.